Recovery Center.
zu fahren. for this once in a lifetime egg experience. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. All right, so do you guys all want to point at the egg that's just a little different? I know it's going to be a tough one. Wow, so why is it that one? It's cracking. It's cracking, hatching, that's right. And it looks like we don't have a whole bunch of time before she's going to join us. So welcome everyone to the Discovery Center. My name is Rudy Red, and as a veterinary technician here at the Central Nursery, I will encourage you to stick around for just a few minutes, because if you do, you will be sure to witness one of the smallest and greatest wonders we have in Jurassic Park, and that is the birth of a living, breathing baby dinosaur. So let's give her a round of applause, please, so she knows that you're out there. There's people here for you, so whenever you're ready, come out again. It'll take about 30 minutes. Just make sure that everyone can see, okay? Just a digital. But as I was saying, though, this hatching chamber here has just alerted us to something called an IAG, and that does stand for an imminent hatching event. Are you trying to come out all the way? Alright, and there she is. We'll say hello to the world. Baby dinosaur. Wow. Yeah, say hello. Yeah, she's pretty cool, right? And you guys just witnessed something that has not occurred in nature in over 80 million years, which is about 80 million numbers. Does anyone know what kind of dinosaur they're looking at? So my friend. Very good, she is a velociraptor. And I know it's hard to believe, but she, she's gonna become our most dangerous predator. We breed in Jurassic Park. That was amazing. All right, so what can I quickly share with you about raptors? Well, they are in the dinosaur the dinosaur, dinosaur. They're a dinosaur group most closely related to birds. And much like birds, they have terrible manners. And they lay eggs. The eggs we have here weigh an astounding two pounds and will incubate for about 90 days before actually hatching. Yes. Hello. Alright, now the Velociraptor is born fully formed, so she is in fact a miniature adult right now which means she already has those razor sharp claws and teeth. So when I go to pick her up, I'm going to make sure I'm going to take that. I'm sorry. All right. So they do mature rapidly, becoming fully grown adults in just about a year. But of course, they do still need to be cared for until they're big enough and strong enough to join a pack on their own. And that is our greatest challenge that we have in Jurassic Park. It is introducing the little ones quickly to other raptors. But of course, not before they're ready and able to hold their own, because of course, we want them to be nice and tight. Would you do something like that? I'm going to be Oh, and speaking of good starts, it has become a bit of a tradition to actually allow our guests to name the dinosaur. 